Hello everybody, this is Anita from Llewellyn Arts. I have another journal to share with you, and it is a two signature journal, and I only have 15 minutes for this video, so I'm gonna to try to zoom through this. I've got layers of fabric and lace on the cover, front and back. I've sewn those on with the machine. This little bit right here has a little bit of hand stitching and I've hand sewn the buttons on. And I put that on for detail and I love that. And attached to the um, signature threads, I have this pretty gold safety pin with some vintage buttons on it and a bulb pin down here or, or with a um, Tim Holtz gemstone on it. And I've got vintage buttons down here on the signature strings. So we're going to take a look inside. I've got pretty kind of teal colored quilted fabric front and back. Lots of pockets. Lots of journaling tags. A recycled card. And here I've taken a piece of scrapbook paper and brushed over it back and forth with lightly with some paint. And I really like the effect on that. You could write on that or put an image there. A cloth and sorry silk pocket. I fussy cut these items and the sentiment says go where you breathe free. And over this page coffee dyed paper I've got this item that's made to look like an envelope and it opens up so that you can journal on the outside or on the inside. And over on this page some embossed wallpaper and some embossed cardstock. All the pretty details here, some fussy cut butterfly, these pretty trims, and I think it's Joey DeFee that did a video on YouTube how to make these. You fussy cut the bird from a digital print and then you scrap pieces of paper to make the tail of the bird and I attach some trims here to make an embellishment. And over here I've collaged to make a pocket, a journaling tag, library card, stenciling. This pretty paper has pretty blue lace at the bottom. I like the dimension when the, the items hang over the edge of the papers. Here I've used washi tape to attach an envelope. Something can go in there. And over here, folded this up to make a pocket. Center of signature. And again, there's those pretty buttons. Love, love, love my buttons. Another pocket, a journaling card, a flip up piece of fabric. Here I've got embossed cardstock, brushed some white paint over it, added some lace, and this pretty spot that can be used to journal on. There's a bird on each side, a little scrap of tatting, and that can just flop right over there. Coffee dyed paper, some gorgeous scrap of crochet down here, collaged, fussy cut bird, the definition of the word inspiration. Music paper, I believe it's Yvonne Preston that does a video on making this page. It's an envelope and a little pocket here. And I print it on both sides of the paper so that there's something pretty and it, something can go there. And I've used a punch to do the circles and the flower here which fastens the envelope shut. Coffee dyed. Wendy. Wendy's Journal Adventures video. I use some double-sided cardstock to make a pocket. Put these little cards in there that can be journaled on and this tips out and you can journal there. This is a journaling card that I made and this uh, butterfly is two layers that are die cut. But you could definitely journal there. There's the back of the hummingbird card. This is a pocket. And I don't know what on earth I've done. There's the tag. There it is. Goes right in there. And a piece of crochet trim. The 
end of a first signature, going into the second signature, this pretty design I printed on blue copy paper. And there's a little tuck right there. This paper, this pretty page is from a quilt magazine and I've recycled a pillowcase and added some trim. And this is one of my photos that I've printed and collaged on book page and cardstock. And you can tuck that in. And over here, some graph paper, some more book page with this pretty floral um, cardstock, some more book page, and some pretty trim. This lace is from a dresser scarf, a paper bag, and a secondhand card that can be journaled on. I like to recycle when I can. And over here, I love this. Spread. It's not my typical colors, but I, I think it all worked. I wanted to use this beautiful butterfly and I collaged back here, added some trim, and here I've made a, a tag to journal on. And this is, a, I used a, a banking cash envelope for the template on this and you can tuck something here or place something down inside. And over here again the back side of the um, quilt magazine and I had over the top in my mother's thing she saved a lot of her greeting cards and this is on that pretty crinkly sounding almost transparent rice paper. And it goes over the top, and I left the sentiments. If, if they bother anybody, they could be painted over or an image placed over it. But I thought that this all together made another pretty layout. And I used a piece of cardstock, put some trim, the definition of the word hope. And this is one of mom's cards that actually my grandmother sent this to her as a birthday to daughter in law. And it's embossed, the birds and the roses, and I liked the dimension. It had three parts to it, and I used these two, and I used paint to paint over the sentiment at the top. But it, it is embossed, and you can feel that texture, but you can still write on that. And over here, some more coffee dyed, some crinkly paper, another recycled card, and it's embossed a little bit in this pretty pocket down here with an old button. Some more space for journaling. You can tuck it away in here, nobody sees it. This tips out. Pink leaf paper, coffee dye paper, quilting magazine. Over here, Wendy, Wendy's Journal Adventures. I've recycled an envelope with a window, used some washi tape, scraps of paper, double-sided cardstock for a journaling card or a tag. So back in the journal here, another page, book page, some trim here, book page, washi tape, and this is two layers of cardstock. There's a little tuck spot there, some butterfly washi tape, graph paper, a pocket. In the pocket, I love this tag. That little girl is just so cute. And it's got blue, so I'm going to love that. These go right back in there. This is the other side of the blue printer paper. And I've washi taped this on here to make a tuck spot. Coffee dyed and a printed digital envelope. Fussy cut the elements on here, the embellishments. And that's it. There you have it. Thanks so much for supporting my shop and thank you for watching my videos. I'm not the greatest videographer in the world, that's for sure, but I do love to make journals. So thanks folks. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Have a nice spring. Bye.